I'm Zoe, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at a rond de jambe movement for belly dance. So this is a movement that comes from ballet, but as usual, when we take movements from ballet, we're going to change them up a bit so that they look more belly dancey. So let's get started. We are going to start with a more basic um, ballet technique so that you understand the movement before we change it up a bit. So for the uh, rond de jambe, which means that uh, it's like a circle of the leg, the leg is going around, you'll see why. We are going to be in a turned out position and just go to whatever, wherever your natural turnout is. So from parallel, opening the hips and the feet so that your heels are together. From there, shift your weight to one side and sliding the other foot forwards along the floor. Keep both legs very, very straight as you do this. Think of pushing your front heel towards the front. This is already pretty intense on those muscles. Push that heel forwards until the heel can no longer touch the floor and then finally bring your foot to a pointed position so the toes are just barely touching the floor. Legs are both turned out and straight. From there, keeping the legs straight and turned out the whole time, so you really gotta use those muscles, pulling, pulling the quads back, and the inner, squeezing those inner thighs, we are going to bring that leg around to the side. So this is the side of our circle. It's actually a half circle. And now, again, think of keeping those legs turned out and straight. Bring that leg to the back. Yeah, so now we have the leg behind us. This is also good for balance. And now we are going to, just as we slid the leg to the front, we're going to slide the leg in from the back. And you're going to bring it down into a flat position, coming back to our starting position. So that is the rond de jambe basic movement. So it's a half circle. So again, leg straight, turned out, Push that heel forward as we slide the leg along the floor. Keep that turn out as we open to the back, sliding back in, dragging that heel onto the floor. Let's try to speed that up and make it a little more of a fluid movement. So forward, around, to the back. Forward, to the back, and come right through here. So if you've taken a ballet class, this will be a very familiar exercise to you. You can also, if balance is an issue, you can also do this against a wall, against a bar, if you have one. That's not, we don't need to have perfect balance um, for now. I mean, of course, balance is always good, but to really focus on getting the legs and the turnout and the feet and all that, it's fine to hold on to something. Let's try that on the other side. So find your position. Legs very straight, turned out. Push that heel forwards, keeping it on the floor as long as you possibly can. And when you can no longer keep it on the floor, that's when you're going to point your foot. Keep that turn out as you bring it to the side. Find that side position. So the side position is actually just going to be an extension of where your toes were pointed. So unless you have a 180 degree turn out, it's not gonna be out to the side, it's gonna be more on a diagonal. And then from there to the back, again, keeping turned out here, no parallel, no parallel position. Squeeze those inner thighs and then drag that foot back in, bringing it to come flat. Forward, side, back, in, forward, side, back, Good, let's smooth it out. So drawing half circles on the floor with our foot, cleaning the floor if your floor is dusty, and one more. Good. Of course, we can also do a rond de jambe in the other direction, but for this belly dance movement, we are not going to need that. What we are going to do, however, is actually 
take the foot off the ground. So we are going to start as before, sliding the foot forward, but now lift it. You don't have to lift it very high, but you do want it in the air and you want to keep that leg turned out so you're really squeezing those muscles. If you're not squeezing those muscles, you're not doing it right. And keeping the turn out to the side, to the back, and then down, coming back in. Forward lift, side, back, down and in. And let's smooth it out. So this would be a rond de jambes en l'air. So in the air, good, let's do it on the other side. Forward, tendu if you know ballet. Lift, to the side, to the back, keep that turn out, down and in. Forward, lift, side, back, down, in. And we smooth it out. Again, legs straight, foot nice and pointed while it's in the air. Don't let that foot flex one more time. And down. So, quite a workout for your legs already. Now we are going to make it a little more belly dancey. So, we are not going to do a whole bunch at once. We're just going to do one. So, in the air, one. And then we're going to step back and then just step forwards where we were in place and then stepping back again and around. Step back, forwards, back, around, back, forwards, back, around, back. You can take small steps here so that you don't run into anything behind you. But you do want to have a nice straight leg and a pointed foot. That's what's really going to make this movement. That's what really draws the eye is that around. Yeah? So, again, around, one, two, three, around. One, two, three, around. One, two, three, around, back, forwards, back, around, back, forwards, back, around, back, forwards, back. Great. Now, what I like to do when I do this movement in dance, I kind of cheat a bit, we can say, because usually when I do this move, I'm going to be turning my body onto a diagonal. And what that means is that I don't have to go all the way around, but I really only go halfway. So like a quarter of the circle here. Because if you're turning, then um, by the time my leg comes to the back, I'm already, it's, my body is turned, so the leg is really out, but it's to the back relative to whoever's in front of me. So, I'm sorry if that was <laughs> very confusing, but we do one, two, three. Step back, forwards, back, around, back, forwards, back, switching the diagonal, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Yes, again, one more time, and then we'll add some arms. So you can also, um, if you want, do a little releve here. Two, three, one. And then back to flat, just for fun. You don't have to. You can stay flat. But if you want to add a little even more emphasis, going around. Two, three, one, two, three. OK, so a couple of arms we can do. I'll just show you two patterns. Arms, of course, are often free. You can do whatever you want. But uh, what I like to do, let's see, the first pattern will be starting with our arms down, crossing them to bring them up in front of us, so through our middle line, all the way up here, opening out, and coming back down. So again, crossing 
Here I have my wrists uh, facing out and my fingers pointed down as I come up, opening, opening the arms down, front, up, out, down, front, up, out, down. So I would do uh, half of the path for each set of rond de jambes. So it would be something like one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes? So that's one thing we can do. The other thing that I really like to do is just do one arm at a time, that exact same path, but do one arm and then alternate and do the other arm. So it's exactly what we did before. It's just only one arm going at a time. And the arm would be the opposite from the leg that is going around so that we have a kind of um, balanced line. You know, if we did the same arm, it would be very um, unbalanced. So if I bring my right leg back, I would have my left arm coming around and vice versa. So one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So what I've done here is I've combined the rond de jambe with the first step. Yeah, so that's why there I was only doing counting three steps instead of four, is that this rond de jambe, I was taking a step back as I did it. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That just makes it a bit smoother. Two, three, one, and doing it with the releve, which again, you don't have to do, but I like the way it looks. So let's review that one more time before we drill it. Let's do the opposite, opposite arms circling with the leg. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Point that foot. Don't forget to point the foot. Very important because that's what people see. They see that line. Good, long arms here. Very beautiful, very floaty, but there's also this, this pause. Yeah, so this is really great with, for example, a Egyptian urumba rhythm. If you study rhythms, um, this works really well for that. But yeah, it's just, you don't even have to do a lot of them. You can just do one and then do something else. But it really um, adds some very nice emphasis, some very nice, like, gracefulness. Um, it can be great for more, like, romantic pop type songs as well. Um, anyways, let's put on some music and just drill that going back. And of course, when we run out of room, we'll step forward and continue. So let's put on the music. So that was a belly dance version of a rond de jambe movement. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, 
Thank you so much for watching and happy practicing.